uh, on the week of the 25th when Parliament comes back, we're coming back to work. And not just, uh, not just show up for one day. We want to run a, a series of public hearings, public discussions, public policy forums uh, from the 25th when Parliament should be returning, when we should be in work back there. And we'll be working, in other words, right through until the Olympics, which is what we think uh, Canadians uh, want us to do. I think he's gone too far, and do you think it's time to bring him down when you get a chance? Look, uh, what we think about this is uh, we want to get the uh, other guys back to work. Uh, that's the key thing. Uh, the reality is uh, Mr. Harper always goes too far, and then Canadians have to call him back. Remember, this, this shutting down of Parliament is the second time in a year. That's what's rubbing Canadians wrong. Every time this guy is in a hole, he tries to shut down institutions that control his power. That's what's bothering Canadians, and uh, that's what we're listening to. You've given us some hints of what you're going to do. Are all your MPs going to be in Ottawa on the 25th, and can you give us a oh, little yeah, more detail? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we don't play half team. We all show up. Senators, MPs, we'll all show up on the 25th. And we're not just showing up for a photo op. We're showing up to go to work. That's the point. And it won't be a one-day wonder. We're going we're gonna to sustain this right up to the Olympics. What you're saying is he can push you around and get away with it. I'm astonished. Why? Uh, we are coming back to do our job. No, I know, but there's no threat of an election. You're not saying like you did in September, your time is up. You're just saying we're going to have a big gab fest here and come back when you feel like it. Gab fest, gab no, fest. No, but I'm just saying like, where's the threat? Where's the, where's the muscle? Do Canadians, do Canadians want minority parliaments always functioning with threats? That's exactly what Stephen Harper does. I have done this job for a while and I've learned, I've got a very clear message from Canadians. Do your darn job. Lower the volume. Do what you're elected to do. That's what I'm going to be doing in, in January, February. And it will be no gab fest. Let me tell you, this will be serious public policy. Uh, I'd like to know how you respond to growing public opinion against your decision to prorogue Parliament. Um, you know, it's, I'll, I'll just follow up on the, uh, that and the last question. Um, it's interesting to see uh, a week after uh, we set the date for Parliament to return that the opposition now says they're going to be really mad about this when they get back from vacation um, on, uh, January, on January the 25th. Um, the, uh, the fact of the matter is this, uh, as I've said before, the government uh, is going to take advantage of this time. We need the time uh, to look carefully at our agenda, to continue to deliver the economic measures that are being delivered here and elsewhere across the country as part of the economic action plan. We also need time um, to, uh, uh, to uh, re-examine our agenda, to prepare for the next year of Parliament and prepare for a very different economy going forward. One that, on the one hand, uh, I think we're going to start to see a recovery. We've seen stabilization in the last few months. We're going to see a recovery. Uh, we need uh, to get uh, our policies in place to better build that recovery and to build the jobs of the future, but at the same time to do so in an environment where governments across this country will have to begin to reduce our deficits. We've run very large deficits to cope with the extraordinary situation we found ourselves in the past year. I think those policies have been fairly effective. I think they need to continue for a while, but we do need to think about exit strategies so that we obviously move back towards balance, but continue to build the jobs of the future in this country.